good morning everyone now i am going to discuss a problem on analytic or the given function satisfies is it satisfies the cartes riemann equations and which is when analytic and the function is in which case that is not analytic function okay in this problem how we can find out the analytic function and where it is non analytic and where it is analytic function i am taking one problem and discuss about the analytic function and also relating with the cartes riemann equations the problem is if w equal to log j find dw by dj and determine where w is non analytic where w is non analytic or the same question is asking in another way show that the real and imaginary parts the real and imaginary parts of the function W equal to log j satisfies the Cartes-Riemann equations when z is not zero. When z is not zero okay here the given problem is if w equal to log z find dw by dz and determine where w is non analytic the same question is asking in the another way show that the real and imaginary parts of the function w equal to log z satisfies the cartes riemann equations when z is not zero okay here let w equal to u of x comma y plus i v of x comma y this is a complex variable of the function and here f of z is equal to w that is equal to u plus i v here u and v are both are involved in the variables x and y in general but we know that in the four polar form we know that in the polar form in the polar form z complex variable is equal to small r into e power i theta where small r is equal to under root of x square plus y square and theta is equal to tan inverse y by x and small r is x square plus y square whole power 1 by 2 here w equal to f of z that is equal to f of r dot e power i theta okay that is equal to log z this is nothing but w equal to log of r dot e power i theta we know that 
in the logarithmic identities log a dot b equal to log a plus log b that is equal to log or plus i theta since we know that log e equal to 1 log of a b equal to log a plus log b by using that relation here w equal to log r plus i theta okay here w equal to log r that is log of x square plus y square whole power 1 by 2 why because r equal to x square plus y square whole power 1 by 2 and theta equal to i tan inverse y by x it is equal to log x power n is n log x that is 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse y by x which is equal to u of x comma y plus i v of x comma y. Here u of x comma y is equal to 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square. V of x comma y is equal to tan inverse o y by x. Here u is the real part of w. V is the imaginary part of W. Now we can find out is it analytic or not. When it is non-analytic. We can show that, that one. And satisfies. Here second problem, second method. What they are asking. Show that the real and the imaginary parts of the function W equal to log Z. Satisfies the Cartes Riemann equations. What are the Cartes Riemann equations conditions? We know that Cartes Riemann equations are the first case is we can find out the partial derivatives of u and v that is dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou b by dou x, dou b by dou y or continuous and the second one is dou u by dou x equal to dou b by dou y and dou b by dou x equal to minus dou u by dou y. If the function is satisfies these two relations then the u and v are satisfying the Cartes Riemann equations. We know that log of x square plus y square and tan inverse y by x both are continuous functions for all values of x and y okay now we can find out dou u by dou x dou u by dou x means this 1 by 2 is a constant log x differentiation is 1 by x that is 1 by x square plus y square again derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x means 2x plus 0. It is equal to this 2, this 2 get cancelled. x by x square plus y square. Similarly, dou u by dou y equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by x square plus y square with respect to y means x square is 0 plus 2y. 2, 2 get cancelled is equal to y by x square plus y square. Okay. Next, dou v by dou x, it is equal to tan inverse x differentiation 1 by 1 plus x square that is y by x whole square. Again, here y by x derivative y is a constant x power minus 1 derivative is minus 1 by x square that is equal to taking LCM here x square by x square plus y square into minus y by x square x square x square get cancelled it is equal to minus y by x square plus y square that is dou v by dou x
dou b by dou y is equal to tan inverse y by x differentiation 1 by 1 plus y by x whole square. Again y by x derivative 1 by x is a constant y derivative is 1. Taking LCM x square y x square plus y square into 1 by x x x get cancelled is equal to x by x square plus y square. Here the therefore dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y are continuous. And second one is dou u by dou x equal to that is x by x square plus y square that is equal to dou v by dou y and dou v by dou x is equal to minus y by x square plus y square that is equal to minus dou u by dou y. Therefore, U and V are satisfies Cartes Riemann equations. Cartes Riemann equations. And these are continuous and which are not derivative at particular Z is equal to. 0. Suppose we are taking w equal to f of z f of z that is equal to log z. Then dw by dz is equal to it's 1 by z which is where z is not equal to 0. That is nothing but dw by dz is equal to 1 by z which is continuous and derivable at particular point z is not equal to 0. Therefore, at z is equal to 0, dw by dz is non-analytic. That is continuous means w is non-analytic at z is equal to 0. This is the procedure. We can find out the function where, where it is analytic and where it is non-analytic. Here dw by dz is not exists. Is not exists. That is nothing but it is the at particular z is equal to 0, the dw by dz is goes to infinity, that is undefined. So, at particular z equal to 0, the w is non-analytic function. In other all points, the function is analytic function. Okay? This is the procedure, how we can find out the real and imaginary parts of the w complex variable which is relating with the complex function of the complex variable and it satisfies the Cartes Riemann equations when the variable is satisfies the Cartes Riemann equations in the real and imaginary parts then the function of the variable complex variable which is analytic and which is not derivable at particular value then that is the non-analytic of function at particular point z equal to z naught. Okay. It is the 
derivable and continuous for all values of z except z equal to 0. So, it is isolated analytic function that is nothing but in a single point it is not a analytic in all points it is an analytic function. So, which is called as the isolated analytic function or it is non-analytic at particular point z is equal to 0. Okay, thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. Okay, thank you very much.